Hi there, Toons! Um, as you probably saw in the title, this is a guide to making a second floor um, in Toontown. So, yeah, so this is your house, right? And the main idea of having a second floor is so you have more room to put more of your junk. Because I have a ton of this. And the way, if you've ever seen a second floor or ever heard of it, you would probably know that a second floor is usually done in the outside area of your estate, of your house. So, the way you get out there, and I've actually messed around out there, that's, it also gives you infinite storage space out there, so, yeah, that's how I'm storing all my junk. Uh, oh. So the way you get out there is either by using your trunk or your cabinet or maybe your jelly bean jar and your phone, I'm pretty sure all work. And they allow you to, um, when you enter their interface, it allows you to glitch through the wall. Do I have... No, I don't think I do. So, yeah, so this is the green... Or, if it turns up gray, it isn't an issue. It's turned up green and gray to me for some reason. And also, th that's another thing. When you put stuff out here, um, the same model things sometimes uh, go inside another model. So, you might think you lost them, but first check um, other models that you might have. Because it's probably just in there. Um. Oh. Well, anyhow. Uh. So. Yeah. This is a pretty. Probably a horrible quality video. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just not really. I have other things in my life. Besides making videos. As it's kind of extremely obvious. From my video schedule and this is the first video I've posted in a while anyway uh so it doesn't matter if you're a big tune either it should work with anyone and pretty much the the trick is you jump and you go right on top of the cookie table I it works with um any table about that size and the you press your jump key so you jump straight up and press the forward key so you go right on top of the cookie or whatever table you're using, and it gets you up a level, which then affects how high you place your furniture. So, let's say from here, I want to, this is pretty much what you do. You go through your things. I don't know how that got there. Oh, and you kind of overlap. When you place another rug, and now I get to the second floor, right? Which is pretty much the whole thing this base, oh, this whole base is around that you can kind of glitch your way up the circular rugs only. So you, the main thing you need for this is one rug because you can glitch up any height with it um but it's better usually to um have multiple well in my opinion i'm using multiple because i kind of like the whole stair uh shape of having multiple but you could do it whatever way and pretty much you just repeat the same glitch send to the attic And you can get it to any height you want. So, yeah. And uh, I have a whole bunch. Well, uh, yeah. So, I have I did this earlier today. The day that... This is probably going to be posted the day I do it, actually. Uh, this is probably... I figured this out earlier today. Because I've known that a lot of people have done this before. And, um... I'm, I moved my uh, figure inside the moving thing on accident, so that's why I'm redoing it. And um, I know, I've known that people have done this before. 
Um, you don't, uh, oh, whoops. Wrong thing. Um, oh, whoops again. Um, I know this has been done before, so that kind of is the premise that I built this off of. And you can have all your rugs for your stairs at different points. You only really need one, but you can use as many as you want. And you, um, I like it about five cookie tables up, but you could do whatever you like, of course. And, yeah. So you just repeat, grab, send to attic, take your final small rug, kind of overlap it. I don't think that's overlapped enough. Yeah, so you just put it out. And, yeah. So now, you can go back in your house through the roof. And if you just press forward. And I think this is the highest one. And you can always find out which one's the highest because that's where you're going to put your floor on. And... That's pretty much it. Then you can put um, things in the middle of the air. And this is on the same level. But it looks a lot better if you get these large rugs, which are in your catalog in the back order section. And they're the same price as the smallest rugs. They, But they don't do the glitch. So you don't glitch up. So it allows you to get to your storage area um, much easier. But yeah. So then... You just put your stuff up here. Yeah, so this gives you pretty much infinite space as you can go out as far as you want. And the only thing really holding you back is how much money you have. And so this is... This whole thing is better for, like, you know, late game players who really... Don't have the money troubles of having to have enough money to spend on gags because you have constant tasks. You get your money from um, from the, oh my god, I'm blanking, just for fun tasks. So there's no, you don't have money problems, so you can buy whatever you want. And that's how, yeah, so... This can be as big as you want, and it's a whole little area. You can, um, the rugs aren't needed, as I said before. As you can see, you can run anywhere at this height, but they look a lot better. And, uh, if you want to still have access to your storage areas, you can kind of turn. You can actually, you could probably place the chest better than I did. Yeah, that would have actually been smarter, but I kind of like my interior design of my first area. So I don't want to really change that up. And uh, so yeah, there's all my stuff and I can go to all my other stuff. But that isn't really needed since you can uh, just go in the, de the design mode and put it into your attic. But, you know, and then you can see you can glitch up from the ground as high as you want. So... I could remove all the rugs beneath me and just have to glitch up to there every time, but I prefer not to, so yeah. So that's my tutorial. I hope you liked it. I mean, this is the first video I've posted in a while, and I'm sorry about that if anyone's mad, but I have other things in my life besides Toontown and Toontown videos. So yeah. Uh, thank you all for watching. This uh, does not require any anything besides the base game. Um, yeah, so it gets you an extra whole layer of your house for free. So, um, yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, this has been Common Electroface with another Toontown video. 
This is my first tutorial, actually, on the channel. Um, and the reason why I made this uh, is to... You know, I couldn't find any good ones that were working in TT... Any good tutorials to make another layer of a house in T TTR. So... I just built... I just decided... When I figured out a way to build one, oh, why don't I just make a tutorial? And so I did. And, yeah. So, um, what I'm planning to do with mine is get, I'm, I have 17 other large rugs on order. So I can make this as big as I want. And put whatever I want in it. So, um, thank you all for watching. If you liked it. Um. You can uh, subscribe for maybe I post videos once a month. I do not have a recording schedule because I'm too busy with other things, and this isn't. This is kind of a half hobby, not even a big one. So yeah, I'm sorry that I haven't been posting. But if you, uh, yeah. So if you like the video. Press the like button. I would appreciate that. And if you really like um, how, I don't know, my personality or whatever, uh, you can watch other videos on the channel. And maybe subscribe if you want to see more videos that I might post. Um, so, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.